good morning students continuation of the previous topic problems related to the dispersion in the prisms combination two prisms a and b are kept in contact they told question number 56 their angular dispersions are given angular dispersions is not deviations angular dispersion means deltas delta 1 delta 2 are given as 2 degrees and 4 degrees this is a delta 1 but a and given means you can take as a delta a delta b that is your choice a delta 1 delta 2 also we can take 4 degrees respectively and the dispersive powers means omega omega don't have units omega a or omega 1 is 0 0.002 find the dispersion of the second one condition is given for that for what condition two conditions are there here dispersion without deviation or deviation without dispersion dispersion without a deviation they told no deviation no dispersion means same material same angles same type of material means no deviation no dispersion also parallel circle glass lab no deviation no dispersion cases we take and find the dispersion power of b for dispersion without deviation deviation you have to cancel omega is equals to dispersion power dispersion angular dispersion by mean deviation we have we said no deviation means which color not deviated means yellow color please so all colors are there you take the average color only deviation means no deviation means mean deviation only you have to cancel it so yellow color is uh, for the first prism and second prism become parallels initial one coming no deviations means going to the second surface dispersion is taking place colors are there but which color is not colors are separated but which color is uh, coming out parallel to the initial condition means again it comes is yellow only so in these seven colors yellow is parallel all white light is coming out means in this income first one second one prisms uh, deviation takes place dispersion takes place but yellow light is uh, not deviated it coming first as it is and going out is yellow other colors are slightly deviation here but yellow color is not deviated you take for the no deviation means yellow color dispersion is means colors are separated so here no deviation means d cancel it up so d1 equal to d2 so in that case what you get is d equal to delta by omega delta by omega is constant means uh, delta 1 by omega 1 equal to delta 2 omega 2 or omega by delta equal to constant you can take that is left to your choice so a and b if you have taken means delta a by omega a is supposed to be equal to delta b by omega b we ask you to find out omega b so this is uh, delta a is 2 degrees uh, omega a is uh, pi naught naught 2 and is equals to 4 by omega b cross multiplication will get uh, this you will get omega b cross multiplication this is 0, 0 0.001 result is 0 0.004 is the answer for you next is uh, and this problem is only for neat and uh, je only not for the k set students k -set. next is small angle prisms condition one more problem is 65th small angle prisms color given are red and blue directly added to the data only deviations for the prism a1 a b we can take or 1 2 we can take a1 angle is a1 uh, deviation for the red light is a degree deviations given previously are given as a angular dispersions carefully the terminology deviations of the red and blue are given as 8 and 12 they may not give the red and blue names also you must know that red light deviation is minimum and blue light deviation is maximum and pass, white light passes through the prisms and monochromatic light there is no dispersion monochromatic means single wavelength will be there single wavelength means different is constant so monochromatic light do not get uh, deviated only composite lights uh, will get the uh, dis sorry, no do not get dispersed Composite light only gets the dispersions means separation of the colors, wavelengths, means color separation of the wavelengths based on the frequency also. Next is for the second prism, deviation is red is 10, blue is 14. For different materials it means, means omega is different, refractive is different. Find the ratio of the dispersive powers, same metal means omega same, refractive is also same you will get. Different materials you have taken, find the ratio of the dispersive powers. What is the formula for dispersive power is equals to delta by the average mean. Delta means what uh, difference the two angles deviations. Angular deviations means uh, the first metal if you have taken 12 minus 8, 4 by average value. Average means the dr1 plus db1 by 2, 8 plus 12 by 2, 8 plus 12 is 20, 20 by 2 is uh, 10. So 4 by 10 you will get. You can take if you want to 2 by 5 also, that is left to your choice. Next is 0.4 if you want to take also, you can take a2 for the second prism, omega 2 equal to db2 minus dr2 by d mean 1. This is 1, this is going to be 2, average 2 values are 14 minus 10 by 14 plus 10 by 2 this is 24 by 2 is 12 this uh, 14 minus 10 is uh, 4 4 by 12 is 1 by 3 if you want to take or 2 by 6 you take left your choice you are asked the ratio the ratio of the dispersive powers is omega 1 by omega 2 is equals to 4 by 10 by omega 2 is 4 by 12 12 go to the numerator 4 4 cancels 12 by 10 is nothing but equal to 6 by 5 is the answer for it for this problem
next to some problems uh, link this will be given prism uh, sorry this uh, lens lens is also similar to the prisms we can take cut into small small prisms there also white light splits into colors uh, but that we we'll discuss separately in the optical instruments if you take the prism will be uh, the lenses are given with the different materials made this material may be different this metal is different metal difference means automatic refractor is also different and this metal may be different like this and this is also different you just check up how many different metals are there by shadings different shadings will be given what is the lens makers formula we have is equals to 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 is the basic formula r2 becomes a plus minus r r2 minus into minus plus for the con by convex lens okay whatever the frequency the, sir this focal length depends on the reflect index and uh, radius of curvatures 1 by f itself is the focal power p we can take so they will ask you how many images are formed here when the light, when light passes through if you take the tree how many images you can get one focal length is equals to one image two focal lengths means two images focal length depends on the n and r1 and r2 but this r1 r2 are same for the two sides r1 r2 fixed for the both all materials in that case what happens now r1 r2 are fixed this part is fixed n is different here n1 n2 n3 just to count how many different materials are there this metal is inclined like this is a one one this is a different metal n2 this is different metal n3 this is same as this means again n1 how many difference are there is one two three only so you'll get the three images of this tree you'll get the three different uh, three figures you'll get uh, at a different positions Position means focal length is different, three focal points. One tree is formed here, other tree is formed here, other tree is formed here, like that. Look at the different positions. Number of materials is equal to number of images. But uh, in case if you are given the prism, this uh, lens like this cut, combination of these two is only single one you take it up. If you take this same, same diagram, may be given in this way. This is a different material. Here, different material. Here, different material. Here again, this one will take. These two are the same ones. But these two are the combination of these two is one. This is repeated maybe, this two maybe, but this is one. Resultant of these two is one only. That is but different from the previous ones. This is a three. But this is same as a one. So one. So how many images you have formed is three images you will get. Similar way if the lens is taken like this and uh, some dark painting you have done or covered the lens with your hand or uh, some insect is keeping, uh, sitting on the lens then what happens is this part will obstruct the light coming from inside so what happens here is this portion of light is only reduced but r is same for all these portions light images are coming from here and here any part of the lens cut off the lens will form the image even you cut this lens this part also image is formed because of this also image is formed more light if you take a more brighter image only you will get more light rays means more brighter image if you take the cut lens if you take it means less in, light rays are less therefore intensity means brightness of the image is less so this portion is stopping the light so only that portion image is obstructed so if you cut, uh, cover the lens half we are taking the photograph lens in front of the lens if you cover half you don't see half image you will see complete image only because of any part of this lens from the image complete image as it is it forms the only thing is brightness is reduced so any painting is done on the lens you will see the same full image only not a half images that's why there is a joke on this uh, covering of the lenses one person wanted to take the photo of the zebra which has the lines on the body but they want they took the they, they are not finding the zebra so they want found the white donkey and on that white donkey they want uh, lines for that they have taken one transparent glass plate and they kept the dark lines on that strips black stripes they have taken and kept in front of the lens of the camera and then took the photo you won't get these lines on the donkey you will see white light only why because these lines will obstruct the light it means light intensity reduced but you will not get the uh, image of this glass lines on this uh, distant object which for, for you are taking the photo so glass lines if you put the our fingers if you keep it like this uh, you won't see half of the image you will see the full image only unless you are keeping uh, this one is kept near the object only then you will see this object only you will be getting it but you will not get the stripes on the donkey
next 69 60 is important ones very important ones for all exams case it also need also j ions transparent cube of 0.21 meters cube of side 0.21 meters means 21 centimeters has a small air bubble in inside has small air bubble inside okay this is a cube okay all sides are not mentioning just leave it there is a air bubble inside somewhere this is a air bubble and you, this is the first surface this is the second surface you are seeing from the first surface when you see from the first surface the object appears close to you you are seeing from the radar medium apparent depth this is a real depth from the first surface this is a real depth and but it appears closer to you this is going to be apparent depth one this is not real one apparent depth one it appears close to you and similarly if you see from the second surface it appears close to you that means this you will see this is going to be the apparent depth two this is apparent depth one apparent depth this is apparent real depth one this is going to be real depth two and total width is nothing but equal to thickness thickness is nothing but equal to 0.21 meters is what is given these are actual real ones total thickness is nothing but equal to dr1 plus dr2 next part of the question the apparent distance when viewed from the first surface from first face first surface d apparent apparent depth d apparent 1 is equals to 0.10 meters means 10 centimeters and from the uh, second face or second surface the apparent depth is 0.04 meters for second surface d apparent 2 is equals to 0.04 meters this is the first surface second surface find the actual distance of the bubble from the second face find actual distance means real depth of bubble from second surface that means real depth dr2 equal to how much is what you have to find out your observer is in the air observe in the air means what you take the formula is n is equals to real depth by apparent depth refractive index of the metal is constant with whatever the direction you are seeing it so refractive index n is equals to real depth by apparent depth from the first surface is supposed to be equal to real depth by apparent depth second sometimes they will question they will ask only to find the refractive index sometimes they will ask you the total width also they may ask you or real distance they may ask you that means dr2 they may ask or dr1 they may ask you are asking to find out what is dr2 is how much first let us find out the n equal to what is the n is equals to is equals to real depth one we cannot get from this we'll check up this dr1 real depth from the first surface first face real depth first face real depth dr1 is equals to n into da1 which is equals to okay substitution will do later da1 is where is given only second face real depth dr2 n into da2 
width side width of cube that means dr1 plus dr2 is given as 0.1 meters dr1 is nda1 therefore n da1 plus n into da2 and i am taking out common da2 is equals to 0.21 n into da1 is nothing but equal to 0.10 plus 0.04 equal to 0.21 n into 0.14 equal to 0.1 refractive index n is equals to refractive index n is equals to 0.21 by 0.14 decimal cancels you will get the value as 7 3s are 7 2s are which is 1.5 refract index is equals to 1.5 what they asked now first find the refract index next what they asked is what is the real depth second case read dr2 instead of doing this we can directly take only these two dr2 they asked dr1 you have to find out what is dr1 equal to uh, dr2 dr1 you have to eliminate which is nothing but equal to 0 0.21 minus dr1 you can put in that value here and calculate dr2 like that also you can do that is left to your choice next is real depth from second phase second phase real depth is dr2 is equals to n into da2 n into da2 which is equals to Second phase real depth is dr2 equal to n into da2 n is 1.5 da2 is 0 0.04 meters or 3 by 2 we can take that is left to your choice which is equals to 6 0 0.06 meters let's check up the decimal 15 fours are 60 decimals 1 2 3 correct only the real this is the answer for the second surface real depth is 6 centimeters or 0 0.06 meters Next question is 120. This is also a very important problem for all kind of exams. ABC or parallel sided transparent media. Different media of reference is N1, N2, N2. Mediums. Different media of refractive index or indices N1, N2, N3. Or as in figure, find the angle theta 
in A for the light rays so that after the refraction to the medium B the ray grazes the surface between the B and C the light ray grazes the surface between B comma C find the angle of incidence in A refer figure you are given the three mediums you may be given in number please you may be given in number don't bother about it you have to take the last and first only whatever the number is in between given just take only last and first you are taking the light rays passing from one medium to other light ray falling here this is a theta they may give the different symbols here this metal is a this metal is a b c reference x n1 n2 n3 and falling here deviates depending on the reference x differences it will go and fall in the second medium question is that it's not going to the next medium it is just grazing they may give here also then one more reference x they have to give that is grazing here uh, this is supposed to be equal to critical angle c this is how c mean this is also c this i this is going to be r this is also r same angle you have to get they ask this what is the value of theta theta equal to how much or sin theta they asked actually sin theta equal to how much i am giving it as a theta equal to how much from a to b if you have taken snell's law we have to apply a to b sin i by sin r i and r this is nothing but equal to sin c is equals to n2 by n1 so sin theta is nothing but equal to n2 by n1 into sin c first between a and b the next b and c if you take a it is taking is for total internal reflection taking place so sin c only present sin c by the angle of refraction this will becomes equal to 90 degrees so sin c by sin 90 also if you want you can take by sin 90 or directly can take sin 90 equal to n3 by n1 that is supposed to be rarer medium this is a denser medium this is supposed to be rarer denser then only it is possible to have the total reflection e is equals to n3 by n2 that means sin c equal to n3 by n2 it becomes put the sin c value here therefore you will get the relation as sin theta equal to n2 by n1 into sin c is nothing but equal to n3 by n2 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 cancels the result is sin theta equal to n3 by n1 they may give 3 4 5 don't work out the problem again you have to remember that condition sin of angle of angle inside the first material is supposed to be equal to the ratio of the reference the last and first where that here are taking place now that last and first n3 by n1 directly you have to remember this relation don't work out all the steps you can save the time in case if you are taking the combination of lenses two convex lenses convex concave lenses does the focal length increase or decrease depends on what factors if you are taking the combination of lenses in touching conditions if you are taken these are convex and concave same or different materials n1 and n2 radius of curvature same or n2 when they, if you want to perfectly touching surfaces then r1 must be equal to r2 this side may be not this one is not important where they are touching is important the radius of curvature of the first and second metals are same for this the focal length is positive for this focal length is negative if the focal length in different are everything is similar f1 is equals to f2 all focal length is similar because focal length depends on refractive index and radius of curvatures 
Here R1, R2 same, F1 is also same, same material you have taken, then positive or negative 10 centimeters, this is going to be minus 10 centimeters. What about resultant? 1 by F is equals to 1 by F1, 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 minus D by F1, F2 is the expression for the resultant focal length and focal powers. This is equals to focal power EP resultant. So here focal lengths are same, but the contact there D is 0, it becomes. This is going to be 1 by 10 minus 1 by 10 plus minus. The result is 0. 1 by focal length is 0, means focal power is also equal to 0. What are the focal length then? Focal length is 1 by 0 is equal to infinity. Infinity means what? When light rays are coming parallel, they are not going to meet. Where are they meet? That is supposed to be the focal length, but they are not meeting, they are just going straight. That means the light rays parallel becomes equal to light rays parallel only coming out. This means focal length is equal to infinity. Power is 0. Focal length is 0 means what? Light rays are focused at the optic center, focal length is 0, but that won't be taken. We will be taken at parallel only condition or meeting outside the lens at some places. So, focal length is 0. But in case if the separation is there, then what happens? If it has a combination of two convex lenses, okay, and light rays coming parallel, outside they may be diverging, converging, depends on the conditions. What are the conditions is if the distance is less, very less than the focal length, D is less than this F1. Then in that case what happens is the converging rays, again converging take place. They are supposed to meet here, but this one again converges. The result is that focal length lesser, but is positive, decreases. Focal length decrease, but is positive. Impossible that lights can be taken such that the image formed by the first one, this is F1. Is this is F2. Image formed by the first one is at the focus of the second ones. Lens has the two sets focal length left and right side, same values irrespective of the radius of curvature, focal length left side 10 means right side also 10 only way to take. So here first lens is focused at the less distance equal to F1, second is F2 and F1, F2 at the same place are there. Means image formed by the first one acts as an object for the second lens. The result is parallel rays. It is similar to the parallel side of glass lab, it means. Light rays coming parallel can be converged as a positive, can be diverged also and can be act, uh, can be become parallel also. But in case if you are taking the first lens at forming the image within the focus here, lens is kept here, its focus is here, its focus is here, this is F1 and this is F2. The image formed by the first one is the within the focus of the second one, then light rays will be diverged. Diverged rays uh, may be appear to be meeting back, so that means image is formed as a virtual image on the same side as the object. Similarly, if you take the convex lens, uh, try to converge. Divergence lens, uh, concave lens, if you have taken, that uh, diverges the light rays. If I take the concave lens, if the light rays focused by the first one, focal length for this is plus, focal length for this is minus. If uh, light rays formed by the first one is meeting, at this place, not meeting actually. They appear to meet at this focus F2. They are not meeting. That means this is the first lens, focal length is at the focus of the second lens, uh, then light rays become parallel. And similarly, depending on the distances, you can calculate the focal lengths, positive or negative. D is the separation of the lenses. It can be positive or negative. If they are in contact, uh, convex concave, if the if different radius of curvatures are there, then it is possible to have the resultant focal length uh, positive, depending on this F1 and F2 values. F1 is not equal to F2, they are in contact, may be made of the different materials because radius of curvatures are same, but different different radius uh, materials are given, uh, used, one is a flint glass, another one is called as a crown glass. About these combinations, we are going to discuss in the optical instruments and also related to eye defects, we will discuss in the next class. We will stop here, this part.